these next group of artists are not just passionate about doing works of art, but the message for them is crucial. And that's probably why they tagged this exhibition, It's Not Furniture. Six contemporary artists show diversity and give the viewers something to talk about in It's Not Furniture, the theme for this exhibition. It uh, basically addresses the issues we have in the country. So this exhibition is um, really about um, the artist's re reaction, how they react to what's happening in the country. The curator, Winifred Okwapi, has attributed art to part of the necessities of life as food for the mind and shelter from emotional stress. So we set this exhibition to showcase the, some of the finest artists in the country and um, because we see that a lot of artists are like, um, they don't have representation, um, their works are not being seen, so we actually go looking for some artists and um, look at their work and how it interprets to you know, everyday life and how we can you know, promote them to the best of our abilities. Marcelina Akodoto uses pieces of clothes for her works of art. She cut her teeth in her father's studio, but is gradually becoming her own woman and finding her voice through these expressions. The Danforth series contributes to the discourse that is ongoing about the, the Lagos State government's desire to face out the Danforth buses that fly the mainland route. Over time, these yellow buses now represent the Austin and the Delhi Austin and Boston of, of its people and their undying hope. So by taking them out, I think some part of us will also go alongside with it. And I'm not saying it should not be upgraded, but I feel some features should still be maintained, like the colors. Majorly the Ankara fabric, which I sourced from tailors, different tailors, to get varieties of fabrics and hoping to get a piece of everybody's clothes by doing so to create work that people can relate to. Fola David is a visual and performance artist who prefers to use some particular type of media in his works. A self-taught artist who studied medicine at the university but has found a connection between the sciences and the art. Yeah, my works are centered around the reactions that um, Nigerians have um, with the kind of situations that we have in the country. So I'm basically talking about the Nigerians living in Nigeria and how they react to what Nigeria is doing to Nigerians. Do you understand? So that's, that's basically what I'm, I'm doing. Just like Fola, Ken Mwadiobu didn't study art but engineering. He expresses himself mostly with charcoal for this show. He decided to try something new as can be seen in the Lost Consciousness 1, which is still in charcoal, but a collage has been added to it. Hyper-realistic 3D artist, so I create an impression of a 3D looking object on just a paper. So if you look at my works, they look like they are bulging out of the paper, but it's just a flat screen. It looks like they are, there's a shadow casting on the work, but it's just a flat paper, right? Then it's hyper-realism, meaning I'm adding a lot of details, like right? I go the extra mile to add more details to make my work look more real. Jacqueline Lato-Brown is the second lady in the midst of this man. Her pieces show the beauty of life and the need to preserve it. They're tackling issues in the Nigerian society, basically. Um, one of them talks about homosexuality in Nigeria. The other talks about the objectification of women by men. Another one is the harshness of the Nigerian society on young children and then the lack of patience when it comes to childbirth with women. They are so impatient about it and then sometimes men don't know that the issues come from them. You know, when it comes to reproduction, it has a lot to do with the man. If the man is infertile, the woman cannot have children. And they don't think about that, do you understand? They focus on the woman, oh, you must be barren. Sometimes it's not the case, it's usually the man's fault. So it tackles the issues of the, the issues women face in the hands of men.
exaggerated, bold and colorful figures is what John Madu is currently being known for as he connects the dots between art and design. The theme of my works has to do with the way globalization affects African identity. My work Negritude speaks about um, affirmation of black, black power and Negritude actually started from um, Francophone speaking countries where the intellects where the intellects knew that they were they were actually more than what they what the um, racists called them. They called them niggers, but they actually changed they actually got a word called negris to show the way they show a communal gathering for for Africans as well. Basically negritude I, I, I made that piece to show to show how to show the world what um, level black people could be at, basically, because negritude has to do with the affirmation of black culture, basically. So that piece is a dark piece, it's one of my strongest pieces in this exhibition, and it really relates to the way we should see ourselves as Africans and the way the world should view African Africans as a powerful force in changing the world. Bringing something entirely different to the mix is Muiwa Logo, who spices things up a bit with his documentary style photography. Ultimately, what I do is about storytelling. I like to tell stories, I like to look at the world I live in, I like to isolate individuals against their space, especially Lagos. I like to question stereotypes about Lagos, to understand how people relate with Lagos and uh, this idea of an urban space and how we came here with an intention to be somebody, you know? While I'm trying to be somebody, I'm also observing people being who they are and telling their stories, ultimately. This is the first exhibition of contemporary pieces by the Temple Art Division, which is recognizing the power of the arts and its ability to affect society by adding to the narrative, as art has gone beyond art for art's sake. It has to engage people positively. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. One thing I like about group exhibitions is that it always gives the audience variety. Not that solo shows don't have that, but it's interesting to see different emotions come into play. And that's how we draw the curtain on this week's edition of the show. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day. And let's do this again next week.